It's a bit chilly, but who cares after a great opening to the NatWest T20 Blast here at the Spitfire Ground tonight, where the Kent Spitfires beating the Sussex Sharks by seven runs, and thanks to your vote, Steve Fitzgerald, Jordan's man of the match, winning this voucher is this man here, Mitch Claydon, for an over somewhere near the end, which I suppose swung it, but it was one of those games where it was up and down, it could have gone either way. Yeah, I think the whole 2020 is a roller coaster ride, and we said that out there, you know, I think they got off to a flyer, which was expected, um, it was a very good wicket, but, um, you know, Griffin and I have worked hard as, as a pair, um, I'm bowling at the death throughout pre-season and Jimmy had sort of told us that we were going to, you know, be the death bowlers throughout the one-day competition. The keys had identified and said, you know, if you become good at the death, you can win in any situation, I think. You know, needing that sort of 21, 22 off the last couple of overs, I think we believe we could win. Well, Ken got off to a flyer as well, didn't he, in the North particularly. Any feelings of perhaps 185 for the start that, that Ken got was actually maybe a few runs light? Yeah, definitely. Well, I know the batters were coming in, so it was a great wick and they, they uh, sort of thought that the 185 score was bad. Um, you know, if we can get 200 they thought it'd be a good score so to fall 20 short you know when you look back at it and still wins a great uh, outcome for the lads and great to have the first win in the change room and as you mentioned Sussex off to a flyer as well with Nash and Luke Wright and then you get one of them out and you see Mahala Jai Water coming out it doesn't get much easier it's just... yeah it's one of them things you know as, as a cricket fan you, you know I've, I've watched him growing up as a kid and still over the last sort of 10 years and he's a legend of the game so just to bowl at him so one of them surreal things but um, you know it was great to get him out the way we did and um, um, you know, I think from sort of the last six overs was key in that game and we won that and that's where we won the game. Really strong team, so since we know that, they probably weren't quite as good in this competition last year as they should have been, but this is a great win because this is a real top side, isn't it? Yeah, I think just to get 2020 off, off to a win, you know, it's a very big momentum game. Um, you know, and obviously we haven't started the season really in Championship Cricket, so we'll take a lot from that win, um, not just moving into the next 2020, but the next four-day game starting Monday. Momentum is the big, it's the sport cliche at the moment, yeah, isn't it? Momentum, but it is true, isn't it, in 2020, perhaps more than any other competition? Yeah, absolutely. You know, if you can get off to a good start, uh, it's a lot easier than trying to claw it back after a couple of losses. So we'll tell you, you know, we're a young side and we'll take a lot from that. Well, Mitch Bond, the most fantastic over near the death of this game, which kind of nailed it for the Spitfires, and so did David Griffiths, but a terrific last over. And Mitch has got the fan club in. Look, Mitch's got the fan club in, and quite right hey. too, because he, according to your votes, is the Fitzgerald Jewelers man of the match. T20 Blasters here has started with a seven-run victory over the Sussex Sharks.